Last year, I reviewed one of DreamWorks Animation's big franchises, Snappy and Shrek. It's now a year later. Let's talk about the first installment of another one of their big franchises, Kung Fu Panda. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of DreamWorks Animation's 2008 flick Kung Fu Panda, which was distributed by Paramount. Directed by John Stevenson in his feature directorial debut along with Mark Osborne, film stars Jack Black as the voice of the titular character, along with Dustin Hoffman, Angelia Jolie, Ian McShane, Seth Rogen, Lucy Liu, David Cross, Jackie Chan, and a host of others. Now, the film is set in a version of ancient China populated by anthropomorphic animals and revolves around a bumbling panda named Po, a kung fu enthusiast. And when an evil kung fu warrior... Is foretold to escape from prison, Poe is unwillingly named the Dragon Warrior that was destined to defeat him. This, of course, became a big hit. So, let's get into our story. In the Valley of Peace, a land in ancient China inhabited by anthropomorphic animals, Poe is a fan of Kung Fu and idolizes the Furious Five, Tigress, Monkey, Crane, Viper, Mantis. A group of Kung Fu masters trained by Master Shifu. However, Po is unable to pursue his dream of learning Kung Fu while he helps his adoptive father, Mr. Ping, a goose, in his new old restaurant. Grandmaster Ugwe, Shifu's mentor, has a vision that Shifu's former protege, the evil Tai Lung, will escape from prison. Ugwe foretells that Tai Lung will return to the valley to exact his revenge for being denied the Dragon Scroll, which is said to hold the secret to boundless power. Panicked, Shifu sends his messenger, Zing, the goose, <laughs> with a request for the prison to tie its security. He then holds a tournament for the Furious Five so that Ugwe can identify the Dragon Warrior, the one Kung Fu master worthy of receiving the Dragon Scroll. Poe arrives too late to enter the arena, desperate to see the Dragon Warrior. Poe straps himself to a set of fireworks and launches himself into the middle of the arena, and he crash lands in front of Ugwe as he points towards the Dragon Warrior. To the astonishment of everyone present, Ugwe proclaims Poe as the chosen warrior. Believing Ugwe's decision to be an accident, Shifu tries to dispose of Poe with a harsh training regime. While the Furious Five berate Poe as an enthusiast with no potential in martial arts, Poe considers resigning, but after receiving encouragement from Ugwe, he endures his training and gradually befriends the five with his resilience, culinary skill, and good humor. During this time, Poe learns that Shifu's cold and distant behavior stems from his own shame over Tai Lung's betrayal, having raised him from infancy. Meanwhile, Tai Lung escapes from prison by picking his locks with one of Zeng's feathers. Shifu learns of Tai Lung's escape from Zeng and informs Ugwe, who extracts a promise from Shifu to believe in Po and then passes on to the heavens in, the, in a stream of peach blossoms. Still unable to grasp the basics of Kung Fu, Poe despairingly admits that he has no chance of defeating Tai Lung. Overhearing this, Tigress leaves to stop Tai Lung by herself, being joined by the remaining members of the Furious Five before she departs. However, Shifu discovers that Poe is capable of impressive physical feats when motivated by food. Using food... As positive reinforcement, Shifu successfully trains Po by incorporating these feats into an innovative Kung Fu style. Meanwhile, the Furious Five return after being defeated by Tai Lung's 
nerve strikes. Shifu decides that Poe is ready to, the, to receive the Dragon Scroll. But the scroll reveals nothing but a blank, reflective surface. Believing the scroll to be useless, Shifu orders Poe and the Five to evacuate the valley while he faces Tai Lung. Alright, now to the ending. You know the procedure. Five seconds to stop. Go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below. If you've seen the movie, continue on. Here we go. Okay, you've been warned. As Tai Lung arrives and fights Shifu, a distraught Poe finds Mr. Ping. In an attempt to console his son, Mr. Ping reveals that the secret ingredient to his famous secret ingredient soup is nothing, explaining that things are special when believed to be. Poe realizes that this is the message of the Dragon Scroll, as the scroll reflected him, and goes back to confront Tai Lung. Poe proves himself to be a formidable challenge for Tai Lung, frustrating him with confusing fighting techniques. Additionally, his excessive body fat bestows on him an incredible ability to absorb damage and grants him immunity to Tai Lung's nerve strikes. Tai Lung momentarily beats Poe and retrieves the scroll, but he is unable to understand it and continues attacking Poe. Eventually, Poe defeats Tai Lung in combat by using the mysterious Wuxi finger hold to vanquish him. Poe is praised by the Valiant Peace and earns the respect of the Furious Five, who fully acknowledge him as a true Kung Fu master, while Shifu finally attains peace. End of story. So, what did I think of Kung Fu Panda? Well, it's been a few years since I last saw the movie, but I do know I've seen it a few times, and I'm going to tell you, it's a blast. I mean, this was just so good and what have you. With an impressive cast that includes Jack Black as Poe, which, I gotta tell you, this was a big... Well, fun flick he had done in the last few years. He's made some hits or misses in the past, even after I've seen him in, well, some movies like Shallow Hell, which is so underrated, and School of Rock, which I think that was a pretty good flick. But I think, well, this was probably the most funnest, funniest he had been in, even for a family movie, at, since he did Nacho Libre. Dustin Hoffman voices Shifu, very very good character. He does a pretty good job. Angelina Jolie as Tigress. Very good. Um, Mantis is voiced by Seth Rogen. Lucy Liu voices Viper. David Cross voices Crane. Jackie Chan does Monkey. Now, Tai Lung, who happens to be an arrogant and aggressive snow leopard, is voiced by Ian McShane, who is certainly no stranger to doing bad guys and what have you. Next, we have James Hong as Mr. Ping and Randall Duck Kim as Ugwe. Yeah, I gotta say, we have a pretty good voice cast. Also, there's Dan Fogler and Michael Clark Duncan as well. Anyway, I have to admit, the story is very good, too, and... The fun action and the hystericalness makes it another great film to rank up there with, well, among some of my absolute favorite DreamWorks animation features, aside from Shrek and what have you. Though I do like Madagascar, but however, Kung Fu Panda kind of surpasses it. This ranks up there as one of the three biggest best franchises for DreamWorks animation that I've loved. Shrek and How to Train Your Dragon are the other two. Of course, and How to Train Your Dragon wasn't that, wouldn't be out for like another four years. Uh, Oh, well. But even so, the film was a big success. It went on to make $631 million worldwide. And it it was also going to be the fourth largest only for a DreamWorks film in both America and Canada behind 
all three sequels to Shrek, as a matter of fact. And the success launched a multimedia franchise and two sequels. The, se the second one would come out three years later after this. So anyway, that was pretty cool. We also have a score done by John Powell and the legendary Hans Zimmer, which that was pretty good too, as a matter of fact. Still, I have to say... Kung Fu Panda is just an absolute blast. So would I recommend Kung Fu Panda? Mm hmm Yep. You better believe it. So like I said, this is a great franchise for DreamWorks. And I really do love this. I need to revisit this series someday. And I will if I ever decide to. But Kung Fu Panda is one flick you gotta check out. So what are you waiting for? You gotta check it out. Like I said, it's a great, great story with great characters, great voice acting, great action, great comedy, etc., etc., etc. So, what are your thoughts on Kung Fu Panda? Please tell me in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of... Spy Kids, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Now, I will review the other two movies later in later on this week. Well, I will, um, after I do Spy Kids, I'll do the next, the second, third Kung Fu Panda flicks, okay? Okay, that about covers it. All right, now, if you, now, if you like this, you might want to check out some of these other great DreamWorks animation flicks if you like check out my review of shrek which i did last march in the upper left hand corner or go to the upper right hand corner for my review of one of their recent hits that being abominable or if you want a little something with um one of the voice acting characters may i say um seth rogan go to the bottom left hand corner and see my review of the green hornet and the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya!